Welcome to Now! I'm your host, Curtis Parody. Now is the show for talking about things happening right now in the world around you. Kind of like the fact that there's a spider crawling towards my camera. Well, I have an interesting story for you today. It involves a large gathering and some very intelligent people in Russia all coming together to change the future as we know it. The group is called Global Future 2045, and they're here to bring humanity to the next level. You may be wondering what the next level is, and I'm here to let you know. The 2045 movement wants to turn all humanity into, wait for it, androids. Wait, what? Yep, robotic beings. That's what they want to do. Now they don't just expect this to happen miraculously overnight, so they've set up a plan that by the year 2045, we'll all be living the fancy dancy android life, which will be crazy. So I figured I could give you the rundown as to their plans in a more fun and interesting way. Starting in 2013 to 2014, the search and development begins to allow the human brain, brain, to live outside of the body, which is something it doesn't normally do. Also, just a little side note, it can control a robot android. 2015 to 2020. I don't know why it was like maniacal. 2020. The first lifelike android or avatar is created. It is controlled by the human thoughts and will become as popular as a car, which, you know, it's pretty popular. 2020. Again, I get to say it all maniacally. Yes. These avatar robots replace working in the manufacturing sector and you can also have one as a servant in your house. Which is freaking awesome! Come on, who doesn't want a robot? Okay, so you're gonna wash all of my dishes and all of my clothes. Thank you very much. I'm out! 2020 to 2025. The system to sustain the human brain outside of the body, taking it out, is created and merged with the android avatar thing, which is kind of creepy, but thus allowing the human being the ability to separate themselves from their natural body. Whoa. 2030 to 2035. The rebrain time. Basically, this means that they want to reverse engineer the entire human brain. 2035. The first brain is successfully transferred into a robotic being. Whoa. What they're classifying as cybernetic immortality begins. Okay, well, well, can we stop here for a minute and think about this? If my brain, which is in here, is transferred out of here and into a robot, I can live forever? Whoa. Okay, sorry, just, just thinking. With my human brain, 2040 to 2050. Bodies made of nanorobots are created that allow users to take any shape. I'll say it right now, tiger or a tree, because you know, they have a pretty easy life now that I think about it. Wait, won't this make like the kids game of hide and seek really hard? Also, could I transform into someone else? Oh my God, yes. 2045 to 2050. The final piece of the puzzle is that major social structures would change. Okay, I'm just gonna stop right here. No, duh. You think robots walking around with an artificial brain that can look like anything won't change the world we live in. You, sir or madam, need to get your brain looked at. So there you go, that's their plan. The first thing that came to my mind when I heard it was, what? Oh my God. This is such a crazy freaking idea, but at the same time, I'm so for it. Just think of all the things that could change in the world. Like if, for one, we all lived forever. How cool would it be to never die? I'm not a big fan of dying, but um, you know, if I can prevent it in any way, Let's do that. The second thing, we could take the form of anything or anyone. I think this would be really cool. Also, it would kind of separate a bunch of social problems that are happening in the world. And the third thing that I can think of is that we'll never be stricken with sickness or disease ever again. Wait, maybe a computer virus. Oh my God, that would suck so bad. I hate computer viruses. In the end, I'm all for this. I don't tell people this often, but I'm not really a big fan of the human body the way that it is. There are so many what I classify as problems with it, and frankly, it grosses me out at times. Blood is nasty, and don't you dare crack your neck around me because... Ugh. Just think about it this way. What if your hand broke, and all you did was walk over to the closet, unhook your broken hand, and then connect a new one? 
How cool would that be? It would be really cool. At least by my kind of thought towards it, because like, I'm like, you know, break my hand, no problem. I got a replacement, I got two, I got three. You know, break an eye, you know, get a new eye. Break a finger, you know what, you might just leave that because it's like, I don't wanna go to work tomorrow, so it's like, I'm just gonna be like, my finger's broken. But that's just my opinion. So here's my question to you. Are you in favor of this type of future? A future where the human body no longer exists and can live forever, yes or no? And while you're at it, tell me why you think the way that you do. I'd love to hear about it in the comments section below. And that brings us to the end of this episode. Remember, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Links to all that and more in the description below. Also, don't forget to click the subscribe button above for more videos like this one, and give it a thumbs up. And why not comment in the comment section below about today's story. I'm Curtis Parody, and that's what's happening now.